This is just a quick video. What we have here is a 72 C10 pickup with the original 402 big block in it. Truck hasn't run probably since the mid 90s. So 20 years, give or take. Uh, I have sprayed a little fuel down the carburetor and it does hit. I had to knock the points free but uh, and I did put new plugs in it but the fuel tank smells horrendous I've taken the fuel line off I uh, turned it over no fuel comes out so what we're gonna do is this video is about I'm gonna hook up a boat gas tank in the bed and see if we can't get this thing running if the fuel pump doesn't work then I will bypass that and we'll try gravity feet but let's see if we can get this thing running and idling after huh, 20 years. Oh, I did change the oil. Did uh, did do that. This right here will be my next, <laughs> my temporary fuel supply. Now, we're not driving down the road. We're not doing anything dangerous like that. This is just so I can get it into the shop building. I can move it around there. I can test the brakes, transmission, but don't be doing any city driving. But I took out the fuel line. The fuel setup on this tank and I got this uh, 3 8 fuel line barb here that I'm going to fit into that and then I will fit it back into the tank. Found a hole in the bed, ran fuel line through it, and we'll hook it up right there, put a clamp on it, run it along the frame again. Don't do this and drive down the road. It's not really, it's just for testing. So we've hooked everything back up, primed it. I don't know whether it'll pull up there. I really need the squeeze ball on the tank or to siphon, but we'll give this a shot. Power steering. In a minute, we're going to check transmission and brakes. But I got to put my rear uh, rotor back on. Back. See if the power steering works. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> All right, here's the test. Have brakes. I made it from there to there to there. Now we're going to back it back in there.